Something that stands out from my childhood are the games I played. Although some were memorable for their visually appealing graphics and replay value, some stood out for other reasons, such as being surprisingly creepy. It's just odd how a seemingly innocent game can change its tone to something dark and unsettling, simply through its soundtrack. That being said, here are six songs that are too creepy to be in a kid-friendly game. Enjoy. Disc 11 and 13. Minecraft is by far one of the most popular games out there, and there are many reasons as to why this is so. Most people like it for the fact that it gives players a creative outlet, as the game lets you build pretty much anything you can think of. But aside from giving players a medium on which they can express their creativity, the game allows players to relax and unwind by playing ambient tracks throughout the game. For a game that's tailored for kids, it makes sense that the game would have such songs. Although some of these songs can be calming, there are two tracks, or discs as they're referred to in the game, that are nowhere near calming or relaxing. In fact, they have the complete opposite effect. They induce fear and a sense of uneasiness. The first track you're about to hear is Disc 11, which is usually found in dungeons inside a chest. Although creepy, the following disc, Disc 13, might just be the creepiest of the two. Now if that doesn't creep you out, then perhaps the following will. If you were to run disc 11 through a spectrogram, a creepy visual would appear. This is what happens when running it through a spectrogram. Now aside from being creepy, it is pretty cool. The image appears to be a creeper, which is one of many antagonists found in the game. Because of this, it makes me wonder if there might be any other hidden images inside other discs. Perhaps you can try running some on your own and seeing if there's anything on them. You can do so with Audacity by opening up the songs there and selecting Spectrogram from the drop down menu, which is on the left hand side of the track. I'll provide a link down below for the software if you want to try this out. Nonetheless, these are some pretty spooky tracks. River Twig's Bed If you're an avid player of Nintendo games, or more specifically Super Mario, then surely you've come across a few titles that were somewhat creepy. They were creepy in the sense that some levels made you feel slightly uneasy. Take The Haunted Castle, for example which is pretty much in almost every Super Mario game out there. Something about these stages just makes you feel uneasy, as the sound that plays in the background is both ominous and frantic. 
But such levels pale in comparison to a game that I think, in my opinion, is too child-friendly for a soundtrack that plays in a stage in which no one would expect for such a soundtrack to play. Unlike most games in this franchise, the following soundtrack doesn't play in a castle, but rather inside a river. Out of all places, the following track plays. Both the distortion and discordant qualities of this track is so unnerving that it almost makes you want to turn the volume down. If this isn't creepy enough, apparently playing the track backwards seems to contain a hidden message. Here, have a listen and see if you can figure out what it's saying. I can't decipher what it's saying, but maybe you can. Let me know what you hear down below. Forest of Fear. There couldn't be any other name so fitting for the following soundtrack. Like most games from Nintendo, specifically those within the Mario franchise, Wario Land seems to be aimed at both kids and adults, but mostly for kids, as the story and art design of the game appears to be tailored for this demographic. With a design conveying that it's meant for a young crowd, one would think that the game would be as colorful and family friendly as it appears to be. However, little would one know that amid the fun-filled coin-collecting button-mashing frenzy and its colorful, albeit menacing-looking characters, there would be a level unlike most other stages. It's different in that this stage just seems a little off. Playing this level as a kid in the middle of the night in one's own living room as everyone slept in their own rooms must have been really creepy. Turning down the volume would definitely have helped. But even without sound, it's still creepy, as the silence along with the darkness of the room creates a very spooky atmosphere. Regardless of the setting, the soundtrack alone is enough to give you goosebumps. Misty Menace Following in the footsteps of game developers who've created games like Super Mario and other kid-friendly titles, the developers of Donkey Kong Country have made a game that wasn't just meant for adults, but for kids as well. Taking into consideration the rating given to the game, one would think, as with previous games mentioned before, that DKC is nothing but a fun-filled side-scrolling adventurous romp following a monkey and a gorilla who are both on a quest to save their stolen bananas. As amusing and comical the premise might seem, its story has a few elements that are far from what the game appears to be. A prime example of this is Stop and Go Station, a stage in which you have to course your way through a mine filled with crocs and other obstacles. As if the setting wasn't creepy enough, the following music plays. Something about this track makes you feel unsettled. The dark and hollow minds of this stage complement the music's depressing and pessimistic tone. 
The track creates an atmosphere of abandonment and loneliness, which is perfect for a stage like this. Thankfully, the majority of the game outweighs the creepiness of this level. Had most levels been like this, I'm sure the game would have gotten a different rating. Moon Mountain Pass Now, although being rated T for teen, Star Fox Adventures does contain elements that many would consider as kid-friendly. From cheesy dialogues to animalistic characters, the game would most likely appeal to kids, especially to those who've played previous Star Fox titles before, most of which were rated E. However, there might be a good reason as to why this specific title is meant for a much older audience. One reason may have to do with its soundtrack, or more specifically, the song that plays in Moon Mountain Pass, a stage which is undoubtedly pretty spooky. As the main character lands on a planet, the following track plays. As if the stage wasn't haunting enough, this plays in the background. The track sounds very similar to the sounds that are made by Wells, which conjures up images of a vast, empty ocean in which nothing but darkness can be seen. Having this in mind only makes the stage harder to play, as the atmosphere puts you on edge, making you think that something scary is going to pop up from the corners of the stage. Just the sound itself, without the game, is quite unnerving. Perhaps one of the most eerie sounding tracks has to be The Place, a song found in a game which I'm sure a young audience would find appealing. From smiling characters to vibrant stages, the game appears to be meant for kids, which in fact is, considering that it's rated for all ages. Yet, the following stage plays a track that's quite unsettling. At this point, the game changes its tone, making the player feel uneasy. Its piercing sounds creates a sense of tension and terror, as if something bad is about to happen. There's no doubting that this nightmarish track induces a state of fear and uneasiness. This would be very fitting for any horror movie. With that said, this has to be by far one of the most disturbing soundtracks found in a game tailored for kids. Thanks for watching. If you've ever played a game that had a very creepy soundtrack, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks, and until next time.